Hello and welcome to the establishment registration process for NATS portal. Click on the establishment button and there is a register button in here. So the establishment registration consists of two major steps. One is this registration form and once the registration and the email verification is done, there is a profile filling. We shall discuss registration as one step and the profile filling as the second step. So this form basically consists of uh, three sections which is the eligibility check and basic information which constitute of how many employees are there in your company, what is your sector of establishment and its subsector, what are the PAN and TAN details uh, you have to give, the registration certificate uh, details, type of the establishment whether it is an uh, MSME medium scale or large scale establishment, the Udyog Aadhaar number, the nature of establishment, name of the establishment and its establishment year and uh, name of the head of the establishment and its designation and contact number. Though, so the second section is the Pan India Compliance, uh, which is basically the address of the head location by giving your PIN code address and the name of one contact person who can be contacted at the time of establishment verification. And is the login details. Here you need to give the name of the contact person, email ID and mobile number from which you want to log in onto this portal. So these are these three sections. So I will go ahead by filling this form. I'm going to say I have 20 regular employees. 20 contactual employees, 10 casual employees, and uh, 40 outsourced employees. What kind of registration I want? There are basically three types of registrations as you can see, non-reimbursement, partial, and full reimbursement. So I would like to tell you what is full reimbursement and uh, these differences in between these things. Let's say you as an establishment take students as apprentices into your company, provide knowledge of your uh, industry, and give them a monthly stipend. So this stipend which you gave to the students can be reimbursed from the government of India. So based on which you have to select either of these three options. Let's say you want a full reimbursement according to NATS Act, you can select full. If you want to take uh, reimbursement for uh, partial students, you can select partial. If you want, don't want to take any non, uh, reimbursement, you can select non-reimbursement. So, if in case you select a non-reimbursement, you can see the pop-up saying, if you don't take the reimbursement, we will not take time for many details. So, I am selecting non-reimbursement as this uh, demonstration. So, my sector of establishment is state. My subsector is um, autonomous body. Uh, I would like to give the PAN number. So, yeah. The registration certificate, let's say I give CIA number to see. CR. What is the type of establishment? I'm a medium scale establishment, let's say. And Ujjogada number, there is a pattern for Ujjogada number. You need to give that uh, according to your Ujjogada numbers pattern. And what is the nature of establishment? Let's say from and finance, uh, name of the establishment, and when is the establishment uh, established year? Let's say 2015 February. Name of the head, let's say, I give a phone number. So, the second section, which is the address of the uh, headquarters. So I'm going to Give the pin code based on which the area state and district automatically get populated so i'm going to give uh, the address a contact person who can be contacted at the time of establishment verification what is his designation He's an officer and his email address So his mobile number details and now the third section which is the login details so i can fill these details and this is the email id which which i want to log into this port and the password which i want to give I'll verify I'm not a robot.
and click on submit. So once I click on submit, it gives a pop-up saying establishment enrolled successfully. Please activate your account by clicking on the link sent through the email. So a verification link has been sent to my email, which I've given in the login details. So I'll go to my email and I'll check for it. As you can see, I've received a mail, which is just at 244. So I'm going to click on this link in here. So now I can log in with the same email ID and password, which I've provided at the time of registration. So yeah, now you can see how a non-reimbursement establishment has registered on this portal.